Welcome back to the Western Fair Sports Center. Second intermission, and we're Rockets lead 5 3 over the London Nationals. And joined by a columnist with the London Free Press, Steve Green, who's been following Janubi hockey for quite some time. Uh, Green, are always a pleasure to sit down and talk. We had the start of the year. Um, first of all, recap of uh, late last year, uh, London, a very successful year. Yeah, I'm on both teams that are playing tonight. Did the Nationals finally put it together in the, in the playoffs and, uh, and ended that 20 year drought for a title and they they almost made it to the Sutherland Cup finally they took uh, St. Catharines to a sudden death tiebreaker down in the St. Catharines lost in overtime on a power play and uh, that uh, and St. Catharines goes on to win the Sutherland Cup so London was that close this year and uh, you know despite the score I mean, you're looking at uh, they you should have another good team this year how do you see the uh, Western Conference shaping up I know it's the start of the year but you always come out with a great column on uh, your thoughts on the conference well it, it looks like it's going to be just as wide open as last year I mean it's uh, when Chatham wins the playoffs they would have finished sixth in either of the other two conferences so I honestly think it's going to be that tight again this year I mean London obviously with what they've got back and what they've been able to add everybody's picking them as the as the preseason favorite they're certainly not playing like it tonight um, but all, every other team in the league, and I mean, St. Mary's was a young team last year that really impressed me. The Rockets, I mean, uh, I, they're making look that last year's run to the championship was not a fluke. Um, meaning they've got they've got some guys that they'd like to have back from OHL camp, but they're getting Daly and Kushmi back, which is a, in between the pipes, which is a big, big plus for the Rockets. I mean, I mean, Chatham has to improve. Bleemington looks to be, uh, you know, a tone for first round exit last year. Sarnia, if they can get some scoring, they'll be okay. Um, you know, like there isn't there isn't one team you can look at and point to and say there's an automatic two points. What about uh, Lampton Shores? They have a few kids coming back. Yeah, they do. And, uh, and as, as Mark Davis said, we had 20 kids last year that didn't have any junior beer experience or something like that. Now we've got 20 that are a year older. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be a little better this year. I mean, I, I still think they're a work in progress. But uh, you know, I honestly think the, the improvement they showed last year wasn't a fluke. They earned the, their playoff spot. And I think they've got all the, all the uh, likelihood in the world of, of, of doing it again. As you mentioned, Strathroy going to the conference final last year, a totally different bench staff to start this year. Were you surprised at all? Did that shock you, that change? Oh, well, well, you look at a guy like Dale Timmermans. I mean, I know he's, uh, you know, he's, he's a good coach. He, he took this team and he, and he took them to the championship. So he was doing something right. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whys and wherefores as to why they made the change. But, uh, you know, those things happen. And, uh, you know, they brought back Mike Bondi, who's a, an experienced hand with this team. He knows his team inside now. Jeff Van Vliet's been around the game uh, at, at various levels for a long time. And, uh, you know, he knows what he's doing and stuff like that. And, you know, you've got guys like Danny Gibson and Don Van Masken holding in the upper office. So, you know, I, I, they may be some new faces, but still, some, it's a pretty solid hockey organization. Some new faces behind the Nationals bench as well. Kelly stays as the head coach. Uh, assistant coach went up with the Knights, but a couple of new faces back there. Yeah, they do. And, then, and again, it's guys that have been around the team. Lives like Rob Crowder, he's not here tonight, but he's kind of working with practice. I mean, they got Reg Thomas Jr. acting as a scout and assistant coach. They've got uh, Matt Pepe, former Kitchener Rangers captain and uh, OHL champion. They've got him back there. And uh, so uh, yeah, I think they've got, they've got some talent. I mean, last year was a, it was a, it was the first year for, for Kelly, Jeff Paul, and A.J. Perry in their respective positions, and they got it done. They got the good chemistry. I think the guys they have here, they all know each other for, for many years, and I think uh, the chemistry will be there. I'm pretty sure right now Kelly's peeling a couple of layers of paint off the, uh, the dressing room wall, but, uh, you know, you'll get the message across. It's a veteran team. I don't think you need to do too much tweaking, and, uh, and the guys behind the bench, it's a younger, it's a younger crew all, all told, but uh, I think they'll do well. Uh, London, uh, your pick to win the conference? Well, yeah. Again, based on tonight, you'd think I was, <laughs> I was pulling something out of uh, my hat. But uh, yeah, I, I just think based on what they've got back and then, you know what they've done, what they've done tonight, especially in the second period, is their is their bugbear from last year. Stupid, stupid penalties in the offensive zone. That's what happened in the over, in the overtime winner by St. Catharines. Bryden has taken two dumb penalties tonight. Um, it's just one of those things where Kelly's going to have to say, and he's told me, he said, "You're going to take dumb penalties. You're going to be in the stands." I'd be very surprised to see Tyler Bryden back on the ice tonight. Um, that's what's going to kill them. I mean, if, if they five on five, I don't, really don't think there's a, a team in this league that can stay with them with the depth they have, especially up front. They've added some, some new defensemen. They've got, you know, Taylor Edwards, arguably the best goal in the league uh, on a consistent basis. Um, right now, the defense isn't playing that well in front of them. They were at sixes and sevens for that last goal. But I think once they get everything settled down, I think, yeah, I think St. Mary's is going to be a good team this year. Um, you know, you can't count out Sarnia if they can get some scoring. Like I said, there's really no one team that you can really say, yeah, okay, it's a lot. It's a lot for this team. I think London's got the best depth so far, but it's not going to be a runaway. With that depth, we only up front. They don't have a returning blue liner, but they do have defensemen with Junior B experience. Well, they got Lombardi back in the blue line. He's a converted forward. He played there a lot, and uh, yeah, that, that's where they're. Uh, 
that's where they're 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 they're, they're green, and, and if you want to say that in terms of playing for London National. But yeah, they've got they've got some guys with experience coming in. But uh, Wells isn't playing today, but uh, you know he's he's played some junior B and, and, and tier two and stuff like that. So yeah, they've got talent back there. It's just not a question of getting the head screwed on straight and not taking those dumb penalties and giving a team like Strathway, which is an opportunistic team, you know, like anything else, a chance to stay in this game and get, and in fact, take the league. It's always a pleasure. Let's catch up uh, mid-season. We'll talk again. Sounds like a deal. Steve Green from the London Free Press. Stay with us after the break. Our period summary in our out-of-town scoreboard. 5-3 Rockets after two periods. Listen to Strathway Rockets Hockey live on 105.7 MyFM.